everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Paint Table. This is my weekly show where you see what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So this week, um, I got cracking on the Batman 3rd Edition starter set. I also did a bit of cleaning and priming on my uh, Warhammer Quest project. And yeah, and, and yeah, got quite a bit done. So hey, uh, this will also stand in kind of for a component review for my um, uh, GMG review of the 3rd Edition Batman box set, which you can go up to here in the cards and check out. But it's much easier to do it this way to actually show you the components all put together and everything a little laid out um, until we get to the Let's Play. So uh, if you want to check out the uh, the video that actually goes through the rules and all of the, the sort of bits and bobs, uh, you can do so by going up to the cards and clicking the link. But until then, let's take a look at the box set itself. So here's my work done so far on the Tradition box. This huge honking thing over here um, comes with a pile of cardboard components, tons of cards, uh, a quick start rule book and a full rule book, and then also uh, measuring gauges for both sides, about a bajillion counters, uh, which you'll probably recognize from the previous edition, things like ammo counters, uh, your terrain pieces and objectives, uh, activation markers, dice, stun damage, blood damage, and then various effects like movement penalties, poison, all kinds of stuff way more than you're gonna need. <laughs> so absolutely everything you need. The one thing that I will note uh, is between this and the last two, um, you don't get 3D standouts for some of the terrain. So for instance, the um, the street lights are not in three dimensions, but if you've got the previous ones, they're also super cool. Um, I put together all the cardboard terrain. So what you get is you get a cool Joker's amusement park. You get this awesome 3D, you can see Batman can even fit on it. Um, 3D like uh, Ferris wheel, all jokered up. Uh, you get four pavilions, three booths, uh, four different like little billboards like the Flying Graysons and Zantana and stuff like that uh, and some little barricades, some little jersey barriers uh, and more than enough I think to get started at least and uh, train for all of the start here missions that are in the getting started book which also is the component list. You get your template in flame side and I guess joker gas side. Uh, you get an explosion template with like joker gas and also a bat signal which is pretty cool uh, and then you get all your cards because this is a very, it's a very different game component wise. Um, in that your your previous edition cards, from what I understand, they require some math, but they're kind of compatible. The stats have changed a little bit. Um, the one thing that is uh, is very handy though is that all the special rules for everything are now on the backs of the cards. Uh, you get your missions, so it's actually a deck of missions as opposed to just being in the rulebook. And you deal with a mission gives you deployment and stuff like that. Um, these are all events. So or sorry, these are all the objectives. Uh, then you have your other objectives, and then you have your, um, this is the events over here, things that can go up, go wrong, and your character cards. And that's it, let's become some box. Uh, so I got painted the Batman half of the crew with the crazy cape Batman. Um, the Jim Gordon comes with two options on a 40 mil base, or you can put them on the giant bat signal. I'm gonna paint the bat signal as just a train piece. I like it better as a train piece. It's just, it's it's on a 60 mil base, it's too huge. So I just painted Jim. You get the option basically putting them on a 40 leaning against a wall. Um, bats was done, everything here is done from a black primer. Uh, I actually did most of bats with dry brushing uh, and then layering in some washes afterwards to sort of smooth everything down. I think I used Cantor Blue, um, dry brushed with some Celestia Gray mixed in, and then just edge highlighted everything and then blended down the, the middles. The bases were chaired on granite, um, dry brushed with a mix of chaired on granite, I think Gray Sear, and then washed with some like Athonian Camo shade and Irex Earth shade and stuff. And then everything was given a shot of Destro's Dull Coat to finish off. Um, Jim, much the same for the rocks. Actually, the rocks are the same for everybody. And I think his cloak, I did Gorthor Brown mixed with black and then washed down and blended back up. Uh, P3 skin tones. And I think it was Scaven Blade Dinge for the pants. And then just various details when he was all finished. Uh, Harvey Bullock is <laughs> just awesome eating a donut. I love that. What I love that there's a finally Harvey Bullock miniature that is truly. It truly speaks to Harvey Bullock. He doesn't have his gun out, he's just drinking a cup of coffee and eating a donut. <laughs> Makes me happy. Uh, and then the various GCPD cops. Uh, I think it's one, two, and three, and a detective as well. I like the detective a lot because he's wearing like jeans, but he's wearing like a, a tactical like hoodie. He's got his gun, he's all like bearded and stuff. He's clearly in a cover. He's wearing his uh, his badge on a chain around his neck. So he's clearly like put his stuff on basically to go make a bust, which is pretty rad. Um, these were in a very different resin from the previous resin. It was a bit flexible. And I've read some sort of um, comments online that people didn't like how soft it was, but it's uh, what happens with softer resins and, and vinyl and stuff like that when you work with it is if you don't use a really sharp knife, you can tend to tear it and pull it as opposed to slicing it. So I just grabbed a new knife blade uh, for my, my hobby knife and I had no problems at all cleaning it and getting all the, the flash and mold lines and stuff off. Um, and for the most part, all the, the round edge, because it's slightly flexible, there's no like danger of it snapping for, for what I've seen so far. So I didn't have a lot of problems with it, but I've worked with like vinyl, like it's the same as using the, like cleaning the bodies on um, 
Song Bison Fire Managers. It's a bit soft, so you have to be careful with how you clean them and just use the right equipment. That's 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 been my experience so far. I haven't had one I haven't liked, but this is just the jar set stuff I'm working with, and we'll see how the um, the stuff that comes in the blister packs goes. And here's some stuff coming up. I gotta paint the Joker crew. Again, also Joker, I did not put them on the giant base. I'm gonna do these guys because they're gonna be like bright saturated colors from a Grace here prime job. Um, and uh, probably use a lot of contrast paints for base because you can see I already threw the, the chair on granite down the bases and then um, just some contrast red down on, on a dead shot here to get his base done. Dead shot comes with a uh, two head option. You get the, the bear head and also the mast head. I went with the bear head this time around. Um, you get the Harley. I just uh, kept her off her base just to paint her. Um, but her, she kind of slots into this giant 40 mil base like that, but I figured it'd just be easier to paint her uh, detached and then put her back on afterwards. And then a bunch of goons, axe goon, shotgun goon, chainsaw goon, uh, kitchen knife goon, big bat goon, and two guns goon, uh, which I'm pretty stoked to paint. But when that's done, I can, I can actually play a game. Uh, Owen and I will go through and do a Let's Play and check out the rules in action. Uh, and then I got some Hufflepuff's paint for the Harry Potter miniature game. I got a Jason Todd to paint, which I'm pretty stoked about. One of my favorite, um, Robins. This is the uh, Rebirth Jason Todd, so uh, Red Hood. He's pretty awesome. And then um, I think that's it for my up upcoming stuff. Um, I also get sent a bunch of stuff for the new uh, League of Assassins, but I gave it to Ben to paint up so we do some th third edition battle reports. So he's going to be painting up the, 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 the League of Assassins Razzle Ghoul stuff, and uh, we'll be throwing down with that. What's cool is both these um, groups are 350 rep on the nose. So I have like Basically two two groups that I can play with right out of the box that are exactly ready to like play They're They're ready to go uh, Cruise without having to do any adjustments. Here's my next phase next 13 models for Warhammer Quest I, I took the vote last week. I'm gonna do the wizard. Um, he is a, a classic like Gandalf style gray wizard uh, Finish off my orc archers and then do some rats and that should get me my my next leg of the way to painting Warhammer Quest and so you go another on the paint table down on the books. Uh, seven <laughs> miniatures painted this week, but I built a ton of terrain, got a ton of stuff built, um, and cleaned, of course, all resins. Took a while to do that stuff. Uh, and then cranked on and did some more battle reports, too. Uh, I got a Let's Top Come tomorrow where I'm going to be talking to comedian Shane Smith, which should be pretty fun for you guys to check out. And again, if you want to check out my GMG review of the rules for the third edition Batman starter set, you can go up here in the cards and uh, check it out right now. Big thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Until then, I'm Ash. Happy gaming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.